Hey everybody, it's Robert Greenblatt here again, and I just wanted to take a moment. I get a lot of questions every single day, and recently I had two clients that were uh, getting their homes ready actually on behalf of their moms. They didn't know each other, it's just total coincidence. So they were getting these homes ready to put on the market on behalf of their moms who were both in assisted living. And in the last few weeks, both moms passed away. So in this video, I'm gonna take a minute and explain to you what does that mean in real estate? How does a power of attorney come into play versus what happens after a loved one passes and what does that mean? So once again, guys, thank you for joining me today. It's Robert Greenblatt. Please take a minute and subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helped me a lot in growing this channel. So let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, one of my clients, John, is his name and mom recently passed. So I met with John, um, toured the house a couple of times. The house is in the process of getting ready. And John is the power of attorney for his mom. And there are a few different siblings, but John is the guy in that family that can sign documents on behalf of his mom. And we're getting close to putting the property on the market. And uh, John would be signing all the paperwork in order to do that. Unfortunately, I found out this week that mom passed away. So now what happens? Well, when someone passes away, the power of attorney now is no good. It, it's void, invalid, whatever legal term you want to use. Um, it's just no good anymore. So the next step for John and his family is they have to probate the will. So how do you do that? What does that mean? So here in New Jersey, you have to make an appointment with the surrogate's office, or if you have an attorney handling your estate, they would assist with that. But you have to make an appointment and probating the will basically is the process, and it's not overly complicated in most cases, by the way, but it is the process by which now the executor is in charge of the estate. And the executor now has to carry out the wishes of the now deceased who wrote the will. So I'm not sure who the executor is in this scenario. However, um, let's just assume that it's John again, but I'm not sure. But for this example, we'll say John is the executor. So now what he has to do is he has to probate the will. And now that process gives him the legal right to handle mom's affairs, uh, including selling her house which uh, would be a big responsibility for John. Uh, he'll also be able to open up a bank account in the estate's name and close out any other matters uh, that mom had going on. So I hope that helps. So um, unfortunately, not everybody's an excited first time home buyer or a step up seller or any of that stuff. You know, everybody has to live somewhere. And oftentimes we have to deal with these emotional scenarios to help families get closure on different things. Um, so again, Robert Greenblatt here, guys. Thanks for listening. If I can ever be of help, please let me know. Thanks.